another program I was involved in, well, in fact, the, the first television program that I was involved in, um, was a program which we called The Lapido Child. Um, and this was about the discovery of a 35,000 year old body of a young girl um, in Portugal in the Lapido Valley, hence the name, um, which appeared to show both Neanderthal and early modern human characteristics. I should say at the time, when we're talking just before the turn of the millennium, the, the, the idea that early moderns and Neanderthals had interbred was totally, total heresy. It just didn't happen. They were two separate strands. And indeed, the term Neanderthal is actually, or was certainly used in a very derogatory way as, as being a sort of thuggish person that didn't have the intelligence that we have. And we were lucky enough, we were given total access to the team in Portugal. OK, we weren't there as the body was discovered, obviously, but we were there whilst they were carrying out their research. It wasn't a fait accompli by any means, so we were actually able to follow them through the, their various stages of research. We were there when the um, skeleton, or such as it was, was reconstructed and CAT scanned. Um, we then went to the States, um, where there was a group that were collaborating with the Portuguese to see how they were doing uh, analysis of bone structures. Um, we went to a couple of groups in London. One was looking at the, um, the structures in the skull that were indicative of what the middle ear would have been. Obviously there was no middle ear left, but one could derive from, from what was left of the skull. And this was apparently a, a, an indicator of, of whether it was Neanderthal or early modern. And another group was looking at teeth. Um, and we also went to Croatia because there, there were discoveries in a cave which appeared to show that Neanderthals actually had an industry. Um, they were actually much cleverer and they, they, they were cultivating land and all those sorts of things which until then hadn't been associated with them. Um, oh and finally we went to Switzerland where the CAT scan data had been sent over and they had a computer program which was being used to reconstruct the face from the skull. So we in fact broke on our program the first, what, what appeared to be the first appearance of a, of, a, of a hybrid child. Interestingly, since that programme was made and there was a lot of controversy, um, we also interviewed people who said this is absolute nonsense, um, since that programme was made things have moved on a long way and it is now taken for granted not only that early moderns interbred with Neanderthals but also we interbred with at least three other species as well. And all that's come about through genetic research, which at the time wasn't possible.